you know, it's a much more attractive space. Uh, it's a much more pleasant environment for people to be in as well. So that just creates opportunities in itself. The new community centre replaced old one that had been on Mikal Road for the past 80 years. The common vision of those involved is to have a clear understanding of the needs and requirements of the local community, focusing on capacity building, engagement and shared collaborative approach to deliver the best resources to the people of Hillhead. Hopefully everyone of Hillhead will find something that will interest them from the very young to the old. Us in particular being in the cafe, it's kind of the hub at the centre, so our service users are then interacting with locals that come in, customers, also various groups that are in the community centre that are in every week. Um, the customer, uh, the service users have built up a wee bit of rapport with them, so it's really good. It's working on their confidence and their self-esteem. Some of the service users that we have live within the community, so it means that because it's, it's close and it's in the centre, family and friends can come up and see them at their work, um, which has been great. It's been great for service users, it's been great for family as well. And also, there's a, there are a lot of people talking about it in the greater community, the new centre and things that are happening within the new centre. Uh, there's a lot of people looking for new things that are coming. Since moving back, uh, we've extended our service to more hours. Uh, because it's so inviting, uh, it's such a welcoming place and it has that base and hopefully that focal point where people know that know this is exactly where we are. It's got a lot of things going on now. I think we're establishing groups within the community centre where people know uh, there's always something going on and we believe you know, that the longer you know, that we're here we're more established People get to know if they need support uh, and peer support, come to Grace and they're in the community centre every day. I think it's a massive thing for the area. The look of the place as well. Um, people are wanting to come into it now as opposed to maybe the older building that was um, the way it was. People weren't that inclined to want to come here. So I think people are wanting to come in and interact and see the place and do things in it more so. And obviously just the how it looks in the area as well, how it fits in in the area. Uh, it's a great environment, there's a lot of nice facilities here. There's a cafe down there so it brings a lot of people in. I've seen like classic like yoga, there's a big hall in there. We also do sports sessions which bring the kids in there, they're always asking us, are oh, you doing anything at the weekend? We can do up there like basketball, badminton, all those type of games. The young people that we've previously been with, they're still around this area so we still get to meet them, see how they're progressing on, see what they're doing with their lives now. So it's a good good environment down here. Based here, as it's a multi-purpose so everyone can come to the office and we get different groups like um, food hygiene, all these different types of organisations, um, social work come into so we get different ideas bouncing off one another. Um, there's always different members of staff and the council always come into the office so we always get new people meeting new organisations so it's always good. I think the new centre is very warm and welcoming and working with our schools and families team, team and having the sort of early intervention and prevention work that we do. It's nice to have somewhere that's got a nurturing environment where it makes your work beneficial and a wee bit easier. Um, everybody that comes into the centre really likes it. Um, I think they feel quite holy within the centre with the relationships they've built up with people as well. The families that I've worked with, um, you know, from like zero to eight year olds, They've massively benefited from what's happening here on a Thursday. Um, it wouldn't really be happening if we didn't really have this new facility. Um, families have noticed an improvement in family dynamics at home, their confidence, um, feeling secure. The children um, are trying new things that they wouldn't have been necessarily doing previously before um, the centre was here. So I think it's making a massive impact in the Hillhead area. And I know that we're working quite hard just now within the Hillhead Community Forum Group to try and get all the users uh, to come together so that we can deal with user issues. And I know that we're looking at integrating that into the wider Hillhead Community Forum so that we can then take those issues forward uh, as a group and put a bit more clout and a bit more experience behind it.
to try and make it a better beneficial place for all groups and all users within the local community. It's got other areas as well uh, that, that could be developed like, you know, to encourage uh, obviously more people to come and use it. Uh, and and it's, it's only as good as your ideas. I mean, I know that we're doing fundraisers uh, to try and get members of the community to come in and actually engage within the building. Uh, we had one recently like, you know, which was very successful. Um, I think it, it, we need to create maximum use of it. Uh, and I think we need to then start thinking maybe outside the box to look at the different things that we can use it for. Um, when, we, when we start looking at other young people engaging it, I mean, we've got the potential to run discos and all sorts of things at nights and at weekends. We're only restricted by our own imagination, and it's up to groups to actually come in with an idea and let's take it forward. So what I would say to people is, is join the community, the community centre users for them, all right, because then you'll get to know what's happening and you'll be able to have a say in how we go forward with it. To be able to get straight out to the community and bring books to them has made a big difference to us and we've had some really exciting findings from families saying that they are more likely to, to borrow books from us but also to engage with the libraries so that's been a key benefit for us. Uh, I think that the wider community has definitely benefited certainly from our um, discussions with them. They said that they, they really have found a lot of changes and they for example have as I say come more to the libraries and engage more in libraries. Um, and read more with their, their, their children, which is absolutely fantastic. They also have said that many of them maybe feel quite isolated within the community and coming along meant they made friends. So uh, we've definitely seen some big changes in the confidence levels of families and, and members of the public that have come along. So it's been really exciting to see. I genuinely come along every Thursday and feel like we're part of something quite exciting, working with all the different agencies within the council and the trust. And, and working with the public and getting to know the people that come along here. But I think there's even more that we can do, but it's an exciting first year.